we want to turn now to Min Zaw, who's a Burmese journalist and activist who used art to organize protests against a dam on the Arawati River that would have displaced 18,000 indigenous people and impacted millions of more. Welcome to Democracy Now! Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us how you became involved uh, in the issue of the dam. Uh, I, as a journalist, I cover pretty much on the environmental issue of our country and including rivers. So when you heard about that uh, proposed mega dam in the very important uh, watershed area of our main uh, river in, in, in inside the country, uh, we are, are very much compelled to to, to add. But uh, back then we are living under the military regime, uh, the quite uh, oppressive military regime. So we uh, we we move. Uh, slowly, and we we try to come up with the ideas and the uh, different approaches uh, to raise awareness, uh, to to communicate the message across to the people. I want to ask about some yeah. of the problems you faced while organizing opposition to the Myatstone Dam on the Irrawaddy River. This is social activist uh, Kia Thu, who also participated in the protest. To intimidate and suppress us, the intelligence service would try to find out who was organizing these events. Then they'd place us under surveillance. Can you tell us, um, uh, can you tell us, me and Zaw, yeah. who most benefits from the dam and who is most hurt by it, and where it is in Burma, what the military regime calls Myanmar? Yeah. Uh, the the proposed mega dam, it was the electricity generated from the dam. Ninety percent will go to China, uh, but uh, just the less than ten ten percent uh, for our country. But even then, that ten percent and all these uh, kind of agreement, the benefit will mainly go to the military, uh, the uh, official military regime, and not going to benefit uh, to the people. But uh, the the negative impact is uh, quite huge, uh, not only for the people displaced by bank, uh, the the dam, but also it's going to uh, flood a very crucial, globally important. Uh, the bio, bio, biodiversity, by the biologically diverse area, and also what we worry most is the downstream impacts of uh, of the 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 proposed dam, because the, this is the main artery. The Irrawaddy River is the main artery of our country, coming from the north uh, to the the south. Uh, the, the cover 60, 70 percent of the country. So that's negative impact because majority of our people are farmers and fishermen. So they need a healthy river. So the the changes in the river flow were going to impact hugely to these uh, majority rural population who reside along the Iawadi River. That's uh, most worrying for us. And also these proposed dam are uh, located in the northern Burma or Myanmar. Uh, uh, which is the ethnic, uh, the Kachin people, the traditional area, and also their Gachara heartland. So this is uh, very much inappropriate in terms of uh, the respect to the indigenous Gachar and their Gachara heartland, also unacceptable, unacceptable for the people, uh, the, for the downstream impacts and other uh, negative environmental impact. And Mian Zong, how were yeah. you able, as a journalist, uh, especially yeah. given the enormous, uh, uh, overwhelming power of the military in your country, to get out the message uh, and use art specifically yeah. uh, to get out the message of the problems with the dam? Yeah, I, the, we, the, we, we initially we wrote about the dams in other countries uh, for the uh, audience to. Uh, to get uh, some uh, the comprehension and some knowledge, but uh, later on we thought that we should uh, we should write on or we should uh, kind of the express directly, and then we got an idea about the the art gallery because in our country for that we cannot according to that uh, military regime law we cannot gather more than five people for the any sort of the uh, the ad, for activities for for the social activities or political activities, but uh, the allow to have the art gallery. So we thought that this is a good place for us to gather people from different, uh, the, across the community, like artists and media and, and civil society leaders. And also they, uh, they somehow relaxed to publish uh, the, the gallery guidebook. But we changed that gallery guidebook in form of the, 
publication that can uh, get that can raise awareness, that can communicate some uh, basic sort of facts and figures and 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 concept and yeah. So this way we are the we the working under the restriction and pushing bit a uh, little bit by bit that the mid of censorship censorship and and expanding the space uh, available to us. No, which is back then is a. The, the art exhibit is a, it's a one place. Well, May and Zoe, we want to thank you for yeah. being with us. Asia 2015 Goldman Prize recipient, also a Burmese journalist and activist who used art to organize protests against this mega dam on the Irrawaddy River that would have displaced 17,000 indigenous people and impacted millions more. And their struggle continues in Burma. This is Democracy Now! We'll continue our Earth Day special in a moment.